Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Jill. I'm Craig. And today we're going to be playing Song of Horror. Yes. Yeah, so this came out on Halloween. Yep. <laughs> and as far as I can see, it's coming out in episodes. So the only episode one and two are out at the minute. Yeah, did you say it's going to be five? Yes. So there's five episodes and they will be coming out in... Like, I think maybe the next one's out next month. I can't remember what I said to you. Yeah, I think it was next month. And then the one in December then. And next year. Yeah. January? Something like that. And then I like think that. the last one's March. Yeah. But in any case, I'm assuming each episode will have different characters. It's from what I've read. Okay. I'll be honest, I know very little. Yes. I mean, I <laughs> so. only just saw this game on the fly just because I was looking. Yeah. So... I don't really know much about it, but it looks cool to me. Yep, so, sounds good to me. I guess. Uh, should we explain the situation first? Oh yes, okay, uh, so I'm playing the game. Yes. And you are watching on a stream. On a stream, so there'll be about 10 seconds delay. Yes. So, and we're not doing cameras because we're both sick yep, right now. Yeah, at the minute we are <laughs> ill. It's that time of year. Actually, yeah. this is my third one. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. Third one in eight weeks. Woo. Yes, well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but uh, yes, so I'm just watching. I'm not actually playing anything. So. No. Right, and with that introduction out of the way, shall we start? I think we should. Yes. Taken them fifth, was it? How many years did I say for them to uh, five yeah, years? Five, yes. To develop this game. Using headphones and controller for a more immersive experience. I have both of those. <laughs> you are immersed. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about a 10 second delay. <laughs> I've uh, just got the same message. So. Daniel's apartment. Looking stressed. Hmm. After a long Good. Home sweet home. day's work. Right. I guess we start exploring. Those bring back some really good memories. Oh, no. We don't want to turn the light off. <laughs> I like his voice. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. He's like Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a very small room. Oh, this is better. Oh, crikey. Seriously? Oh, crikey. Crikey. I guess he's not American. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> crikey. Oh, <God>. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Daniel, it's me, a chin. That's what we all hey, say. We've got over a bit here, of a major the emergency. Phone rings. Oh, crikey. Oh, <laughs> joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself. But I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. <laughs> Write this down. Big fat Four favor. <laughs> Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. 
Well, we'll talk about that oh, once you I find see, him. I see, I see. Oh, so is this if you give you the manuscript, to be don't show it to anyone. It's something. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. <laughs> Again, another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. <laughs> I like I the uh, stars. Stretch my complaints. Yeah, it's rising good. from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company. Or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. Oh. I would have divorced myself in her place. So that was the guy in the picture. Daniel right. Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. The bloody alcoholic. Shin up, you. <laughs> that is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husha, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Oh, that sense, please. I know. <laughs> you can't be saying crikey and then say after. After, exactly. It's <laughs> after. 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 <laughs> yes. But he's a bloody alcoholic. Crikey! <laughs> no, no, I don't want to seem like we're giving it a disservice. No. Other than slightly dodgy accents. It's, yes. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> so. Yes, I like the graphics. Yeah, the style's good. Prelude, a Friday like any other. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. A tricycle. I didn't know Husher had kids. Well, that's worrying. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't even know if I'm gonna run or anything at this point. Right, I'm not gonna bother pressing the chair. Let's get into the house. Yeah, let's get into Hello? it. Hello. Is that music? I'd better take a look. Go on, Daniel, take a look. Oh, are there no lights on? No one home? Oh, hello! Oh, each character has their own light source to so turn it on and off. Or off and on. Press R, trigger, and R. Oh. Okay. Uh. Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point the light. To do so, use, obviously, the stick, yes. This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and also help you interact with objects that might not be right in front of your character. Your light source will never run out. Use it as much as you need. That's good to know. That is good to know. This kind of reminds me of Resident Evil. You know, the way it kind of you look upon your character. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I get you. There's a lot of clothes, isn't there? Right, let's go deeper into the house. For me, it's kind of sitting somewhere between... Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Yes, I agree. Where's the music coming from? I hope it leans more towards Silent Hill because that's my thing. Yes. <laughs> so. What's this? Matches. 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 Can't think of any reasons to burn the house down yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. Go on, Daniel. Find a reason. <laughs> Find a reason to. Where's this music coming from? There's something on that doorknob. There is something on that doorknob. <coughs> Interesting. Peculiar. What the? Peculiar? How can there be a door there? What do you think of this music? It's peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> is it this? Oh no, there's a creepy door here though. Can I grab that gun? Would that be helpful to me? Yes. <laughs> he already has to be older than me. And all those rifles? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's got like a low droney sound. 
into the basement, of course. Yes, sir. Where else are we supposed to go? Is it going to close? Of course it does. I haven't got my I'd glasses hardly on taken my a way, step so forward. I sound like I'm going to crap this till I can't see. <laughs> when I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. Oh, yep. okay. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. Then why did you go in there? <laughs> why didn't you put something in front of the door? Yeah. <laughs> Three days later. Hey. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. Oh, Sophie. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house in the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay. I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course. Same to you. Voice acting's not too bad. No, this is better. Yeah. <laughs> So we are Sophie. Cool, cool. 1998. Yes. It's a good year. Yes. <laughs> it's a good year to look for Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> nice hairdo, Sophie. Um, oh, coming at night time as well. Of course we are. Yeah. Let's get the spoop on. This will be on. The Husher Mansion. The door was open. Is there anybody home? The mouth didn't move that much, did it? <laughs> Hold on. I will see. No. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm just gonna go straight to Daniel. I'm gonna go upstairs just because I feel like the buttons all lead to one another. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I should sense. take a look on this floor first. No, she's. Oh no! So I've got to look everywhere on this floor first. Damn it, Sophie! Damn it, Sophie! Take that way. Oh. I'm losing my bearings. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I need a key. Oh god, it means I gotta touch everything. Yeah. Okay, where would a key likely to be? In the most furthest room possible. Yeah, in that little office you went into, one of the drawers was slightly open. What was it? 
it's bad for the delay, but uh, I found it. Okay. Yeah, just very nice. We are in the little office slash library. Yeah. I see a key in the drawer, but it's gems. Oh. <laughs> God's sake, I've got to lubricate it somehow. Why use that word? <laughs> now I've got to find something to lubricate the drawer. Uh. Now where? Back to the kitchen? Dining area? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, what am I looking for? Oil? Possibly. Probably. Can't imagine I'm using lotion. Okay, this could be the garage. Is there any oil? This could help. Makes sense. Mm. Here's the boiling area. Receiving no electricity like the rest of the house. Okay, because it looks so old. The old metal box. Okay, looking. Look. Huh. I don't see any way to get this open. Why? Fuses. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh, so you can combine stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, but not that. I, I have must search have every that. inch of that. Yes. Daniel could just be upstairs. <laughs> oh, we're in the kitchen. We found the kitchen. There's something on the counter. Oh. Got a knife that could work as a flathead screwdriver. It's a ring. I don't want a ring, though. Huh. <laughs> and we're made of iron. Nothing unusual. Okay. Mm -mm. A metal ring. Drawing by saw. So, a drawing done by Husher's youngest child. Okay. Good to know. Saw so, seven. Okay. Seven years old. Okay. Oh, so we take the drawing. Right. Damn. Just what I always want. <laughs> Water came out from under the sink and there's a wire right there. Okay, that's uh, dangerous. That's dangerous, Sophie. Danger. <laughs> You're telling me I still can't pick up anything. Okay. Left or right? Left. Left. Always go left. Because that's the more safe. That's one. right. <laughs> okay, this is just like a a pantry, shall I say? Is it a pantry they call it? A pantry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Finally, we got oil. Okay, Thanks. back to the drawer. Ooh. Oh. What was the noise? You better take a look before you go back out. To press your ear against the door, walk up to it. When you see the listen icon, press and hold Y. While you're listening, pay attention to the sounds that come from the other side. Oh. Oh. What was <laughs> that? <laughs> okay, let's listen. Quirky. <laughs> Quirky, mate. What was that? Seems like the coast is clear. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of the examined door. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it at the other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons when you're near one. Oh, use your map to find your way around. Oh, there's a map now. It okay. records every single place you've explored so far to open it. Press yes. The map will be constantly updated with relevant information. Don't forget to check it out once in a while. Okay. I didn't hear anything in there. What? All right, here's the map. See, clearly something dodgy is going on. Yes. You'd like, you'd walk around a little bit and then be like, okay, it's dodgy. So wouldn't you just be like, Daniel! <laughs> Daniel, what are ya? You wouldn't just be like, okay, I need a screwdriver. I know. <laughs> All right, we're at the draw. Lubricate the draw. Yes. 
Yes. The oil worked like a charm. Yes, it did. Thank you, Key. Uh huh. Oh. The phone. Should I answer? Why not, girl? Answer the phone. Hello? Sorry, who is this? I can't understand you. We can't leave my room. What the? She spoke. It sounded like a child. Is he in the house? There is suit all over. Perhaps I could get it to the light somewhere. Okay. There was matches. You're right. Remember, because Daniel was like, I don't want to burn the house down. Yes. Where were those matches again? I think they were... Uh, at the bottom of the stairs, the room, the doorway at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. yeah. Don't think it was that way. It's like the door on the left, at the end of the hallway. Yeah, that little room between the kitchen and dining room. What, this way to the left? I don't know, this is weird when there's a delay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're right. Yay! Matches, the thank you. I don't understand. I don't know, can I combine it? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> you've got a matches you can't even use. Got matches, and you've got mm -mm. sandpaper thing. thing. What? You can light these matches. You can do it, Sophie. Apparently, she can't. Why not? <laughs> she never used matches before. I guess not. Well, damn it. Can we go upstairs then? First, I need something to get it lit. Yes. You've got a candle in your hand. I know. <laughs> How about Sophie? Sophie, you're letting us down here. Daniel's dying when you're messing around with candles. Come on. Oh, it's still saying I can't go up there. Okay. So we've still got... Well, there's we've got a key, haven't we? There's a door that's locked. Yes. There's two doors that are locked. Okay, which one was it? Uh, the one... Well, like, this... towards the front door. There was a locked door there, I believe. Next to the yeah. coat rack. The creepy door. Yeesh. Uh uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This key fits in the lock. Ooh. Oh. Oh no, saying for me to listen. I don't hear anything. Did I say it was safe? Let's go for it. Do it, Sophie. Oh. Oh, oh. hello. We found a basement. Ah, good. 